Hi everyone, this is set two, question two. So in this question we assume an ideal op amp and then we need to find the value of the resistor R up here, right, on the, the feedback resistor. Uh, if the source voltage is two millivolts, the output voltage is minus 40 millivolts. So what's the, what's e, what's the input impedance of the amplifier and then find the current uh, through the load IL. Okay, so uh, first, if we look at the topology that we have here, because we are we have this feedback resistor here, and then we have our source voltage connected to the inverting input here, right? Negative here. This basically is a topology of an inverting amplifier. Okay, <clears throat> and if you remember for an ideal op amp we know that there's no current entering the inverting and no inverting input so this current here is zero, right? If there's no current flowing inside the op amp for on the inverting and no inverting inputs basically in this case it means that there is no voltage drop across this 2k ohm resistor, right? And if we have zero volts down here it means that we have zero volts here on the no inverting input uh, port and because for an ideal op amp we know that v plus is equals to v minus it basically means that the the invert input voltage also has zero volts right so exactly at this node here we know that we have zero volts okay And the equation for or the voltage transfer function for for this topology then it becomes so if we write the voltage transfer function it's V out over Vs or Vi, right? And that's equals to the minus the feedback resistor divided by the 5k here. So that's the equation that we have. Okay, now we know that um, the ratio between V out and V s is equals to minus 40 millivolts for the output and 2 millivolts for the input, right? And we also know that, well, we know the resistor here is minus 5k, so this gives us this equation, right? So let's call this part A. And then we know that the resistor here should be equal, so this ratio here becomes 20, right? So it's equals to 20 times 5k ohms, and this is equals to 100k. So that's the first answer. Now, what's the input impedance of the amplifier? So the input impedance of the amplifier is actually the voltage that we have applied exactly at this node here, right? So this is our VI, let's say. And then we also have our, a current here that's flowing through the voltage source that we can call I1, right? So the input... Uh, input resistance of this circuit, so let's call part B. The input resistance is equals to this ratio of VI over I1. And in our case we know that I1 is equals to VI minus zero volts because that's the voltage at this node here divided by 5k right so this is the same as vi divided by 5k now if we substitute this equation here right for v for i1 here this gives us an input resistance that's equals to 5k Right, because it's I1 here is equals to VI divided by 5K. Those VIs, they cancel the, the, the VI, so we call V1, but it's VI. 
and then because it's divided by 5k here it goes to the numerator as 5k so that's the input sorry that's the input resistance for this amplifier and the last questions that we the last question that we call part C it's find the current through the load so if we know the voltage here V out is those minus 40 millivolts and here we know that it's zero volts we can just apply Ohm's law right so this is part C the current IL is equals to V out minus zero volts divided by RL and this is the same as V out which is minus 40 millivolts divided by the load resistance which is 1k ohm and this gives us a current that it's minus 40 micro amperes okay so remember that I use this uh, v out minus zero volts because of the assumption of the current IL here going to the ground but actually this current it's flowing in the opposite direction that it's drawn in the circuit so if we use this direction here you would get a positive value for the current okay so it just depends on the reference or the direction that you're adopting in the circuit okay but because this the the problem assigned the current going to the ground the correct answer is minus 40 microamperes okay so that's it for this problem